Hello, I'm uh, Guru Sonpavde. I'm uh, the Bladder Cancer Director at the Dana Farber Cancer Institute in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Um, we have some interesting studies in bladder cancer presented here. Uh, I want to focus on a prognostic model that we presented and validated at this conference. We had a discovery of this model last year. This is a model to predict the survival of patients who received a PD-L1 inhibitor immunotherapy in the post-platinum setting. So we discovered a model of five factors that predict survival of patients receiving atezolizumab, which is a PD-L1 inhibitor, after platinum chemotherapy. So in this setting, we discovered that five factors, the performance status, liver metastasis, the neutrophil lymphocyte ratio, the platelet count, and high LDH were all prognostic for poor survival. The more of these factors you have, the worse survival you have if you receive a PD-L1 inhibitor. So we showed that this was prognostic in the setting of atezolizumab. At this conference, we now have a validation of this. So we applied this model to a different PD-L1 inhibitor, avelumab, in the post-platinum setting. And we found that this also uh, predicts it in the avelumab setting. So overall, I would just want to point out that this is a prognostic model. We are predicting the survival. So we are uh, estimating survival of these patients based on the baseline factors. This cannot be used to predict or pick uh, a patient for a PD-L1 inhibitor versus something else. But it does help you interpret the data from non-randomized phase two trials and help, it helps investigators to stratify and randomize patients to achieve a balance of these baseline factors that predict uh, survival of these patients. So we hope to see more of this model being used going forward in patients receiving post-platinum PD-1 inhibitor based regimens. Thank you.